In this video, we have a first look at the brand new battle pass coming out for episode 5 act 3. What's going on ProGuides family, it's your host Sergeant Frost with the news update. It's no secret that the end of the year is fast approaching, as we are halfway out of October already. And with the end of the year approaching, we will have the last act of the episode to look forward to as well. And you know what a new act means, that's right, a brand new battle pass. We have some first looks at some high res images of all the skins, player cards, sprays, and gun buddies you will see in this video. But before we jump into the new battle pass, let's talk about something you should know that will help you improve your game, such as Valorant Stat Center, Aimlab's new top tier tracker that gives you access to data and metrics that only pro players had in the past. Not only that, Stat Center even has revolutionary data that tracks your impact called Delta Damage. So if you want to have all the information you'll ever need to master the game, make sure to click the link in the description and download Valorant Stat Center by Aimlab today. To start off the video, let's go over the Battle Pass facts as usual. Just like all other previous Battle Passes, this one will have free and paid content. In Act 3, we can also expect three new skin collections, Iridian Thorn, Runestone, and Starlet Odyssey, along with more new player cards, sprays, gun buddies, and RP to spend too. Just like before, this Battle Pass will cost 1000 Valorant points. If you don't want to drop money on the Battle Pass, don't worry, there's always some neat free content in the pass. Some of those highlights include the Simple Instruction Spray, the Unearthed Mask card, and the Starlet Odyssey Ghost with variants and a lot more. And of course, if you do decide to spend the extra $10 on the pass, you can expect to see the Starlet Odyssey Vanda with variants, the Iridian Thorn Blade, the Grand Designs card, and a whole lot more. The content in this pass looks awesome and you will be able to get it and start your grind for unlocking the rewards on October 18th when the new act goes live. Now let's get further into content in the pass, starting off with the weapon skins. As we all know, most people will end up spending money on the pass because of the weapon skins and for good reason. So what did Riot cook up for us in Act 3? Now that it's been revealed that we have three skin collections to look forward to, Starlit Odyssey, Runestone, and Iridian Thorn, let's start off with what will probably be the premier skin line of this pass, the Starlit Odyssey collection. Starlit Odyssey is one of the best looking battle pass skin lines I've seen in quite some time. This skin collection will be the high tier skin line that has different color variants for the guns for the battle pass. In the Starlet Collection, we can expect to see the Ghost, the Guardian, the Spectre, and the Vandal for included weapons. These skins will come in the base version of Blue, but the color variants that will come with them are Pink Purple, Blue Gold, and Black. It may be just me, but I'm really loving the whole holographic look that these skins have going on with them, on top of already being really pretty colors. I will definitely look forward to unlocking these skins as I progress through Act 3's Battle Pass. The next skin line we'll be looking at is the Runestone skin line. This skin line has a theme that looks a little bit like the ancient Indian artifacts that the new Agent Harbor uses for his abilities. Is it a coincidence? Who knows? Maybe I'm just hyper observant. But I do see a theme correlation going on with ancient runes and stones appearing throughout this battle pass. The guns we can expect in this skin line, however, are the Bulldog, Marshall, Odin, and Shorty. The final skin line we'll be seeing in this battle pass is the Iridian Thorn skin line. In my opinion, this skin design looks very similar to a concept from an old skin collection called Spline but it does look a bit cooler with the blue tones and ancient artifact designs on them. In Iridian Thorn, we can expect to see the Bucky, Judge, Operator, and Sheriff, and a brand new Knuckle Brace melee too. I don't know why I get giddy over Knuckle Brace or melees, but it will always do it for me every single time, I swear. Next up in the battle pass, we have the player cards. It seems like this pass really is leaning on the ancient artifact theme that Harbor is based around, because there are several player cards that are designed around that theme. Those player cards in particular are the Astral Conduit card, the Harbor Player card, the Iridian Thorn card, the Runestone card, the Unearth Brace and Unearth Gauntlet card too. Outside of the Ancient Artifact themed cards, we're also getting some really cool items based around the Agents. We have an epic Sneakerhead card with Phoenix showing off his shoe collection, along with a Golden Epilogue version of it too. We have an Unstoppable Omen Player card, and we have a Ridden in the Star Sova card, where Sova is made up of a constellation of stars in the sky. And we have a sick looking Grand Designs card showing off everyone's favorite ranked agent, Chamber. And finally, we have the new map schematic card, and this pass is featuring the map Icebox this time around. With every Battle Pass video that we do, I always look forward to getting to the buddies and spray portions of the video, mainly because I love looking at the jokes and memes that Riot is able to come up with that they put into their artwork of the pass. This Battle Pass is no exception, as Riot keeps the jokes coming. We can clearly see that in the Simple Instruction Spray, the See You Next Round Spray, the I Sleep Spray featuring Yoru, the KO Mind Blown Spray, and the Hawk Out Sky Spray. Some other really cool sprays in the past are the Fascinating Fade Spray, the Fill Your Card Spray, the It's a Tiger Spray, the Surrender Spray, and the Ridden in the Stars Spray. Moving along, we have some really cool looking buddies in the past as well. I really like the Shell Song, the Star Lotus, the Halo Halo, the Can't Break Me, and the Ornamental Commander Buddy that turns Brimstone into a Christmas Nutcracker. I definitely can see myself rocking those buddies when I eventually unlock them in the past. Some of the other buddies we can look forward to are Corbin's Light, the Iridian Thorn, Runestone, and the Episode 5 Act 3 Medallion Coin too. Well everyone, that's all we have for this news update on the Episode 5 Act 3 Battle Pass. 
If you enjoyed this video or want to see more of this, make sure to drop us a like and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest news, updates, and guides. It's been your host, Sergeant Frost, and good luck on that grind in Act 3.